Just got another unboxing video for everyone. A little partial unboxing. I got two drill purpose number one Mark III infield rifles from JG Sales. They had a Black Friday sale. The parts alone are worth more than that. So I didn't really get a very close look at it. Uh, the FFL where I picked it up, they aren't uh, deactivated to ATF standards, so you still have to either take it to an FFL or CNR depending on your state laws. So go ahead and take a closer look at them. So this is how they came packed, basically wrapped up in this stuff inside of this box and then stuck into a shipping box. This stuff's pretty good at protecting them. It's a lot easier to clean up too than the bubble wrap. If you watch my unboxing of the Martini Henry rifles from this week, you'll see a, what it looks like to have a mountain of popcorn. So here they are. See the stocks look pretty good. This one's got a bit of a ding here. Looks pretty fresh. This one doesn't look like it's marked on the receiver on the side, but might just be covered up. It's definitely a ton of Cosmoline on this. You can see it's basically just caked in it. You can see the markings here. Basically, uh, three stripes of paint that go on the receiver, around the magazine, and back up on the other side uh, of the stock on the side of the receiver. You can see this is where the pin is. Put this pin right through the um, chamber right here. They drilled through it, so it keeps a round from chambering. Stock looks good. A lot of times this part of the stock is broken on infield, so it's good that it's not in this case. Everything looks pretty good. Even has the spot here to screw in the stacking swivel. Starting with the other rifle, you can see it's got a DP stamp here. It does look like this one's marked. Not sure if that's a 41 or looks like a 41. It's pretty cool that one actually has a marking. This one doesn't look like it has the paint on the wood. You can see a ton of cosmoline here. It's just caked. It's full of cosmoline, it's really thick. Definitely have my work cut out for me, getting all this cosmoline off. Again, looks like a good screw and a stacking swivel here. So go ahead and flip them over. So on this side looks like this one has a rack number. This one doesn't appear to have any markings on this side. Looks like it should have some pretty nice finish under all this cosmoline though. This one has an earlier style caulking piece. And again, no paint on this side of the wood either. 
can see that both the rifles have the screw here that was pretty common on the Indian rifles. So overall they look pretty good. Look like they're in pretty good shape. Plan to clean these up. And since this one doesn't have the paint on the wood, probably clean the whole magazine off and make this one kind of like a display piece. And then this one right here, it's got the paint on it, so try to preserve that. As far as parts for these, I wouldn't use anything that is under pressure. I mean, I wouldn't use the bolt, the receiver, the barrel, anything like that. Um, you know, a little bits and pieces that aren't under pressure, probably okay to use, just I'm sure you uh, get it checked out by a gunsmith before you fire anything. But definitely a lot of parts on here that are worth it. The butt plates look pretty good as well as the butt plate screws. A lot of times you'll see that those are just kind of bashed in and uh, flattened down basically into like nails just from use and the butt plates are usually pretty scratched up so these would be good replacements. So I'm going to get started on taking these apart, cleaning them up and I'll have a video out uh, in the near future. I plan to do my Mark IV Martini Henry first, so these will probably not be done for a while, but I should have these out um, in the near future.